Hi right, again. Yeah, more Godzilla toy reviews. Uh, yeah, another one. Um, this one might be a little harder to find now. It probably might still be available yet, but definitely only online now, unless you can find some like you know toy store somewhere. But yeah, definitely hard to find. But yeah, this is um, actually the Miragoji Godzilla 2000 slash Mega Gears design Godzilla. Um, yeah, Ben Presto brand uh, Godzilla toy. Yeah, it's around 11 inches tall or so. Yeah. Um, as you can see, the yeah design of it is trying to replicate. Yeah, that design. It's pure green. Yeah, it's pure green. Yeah. Just how it looks in uh, yeah Godzilla, particularly versus Mega Gears. Look into the mouth, we can see, yeah, teeth are all yellow, uh, red tongue, yeah, mouth is asphyxiated wide open. Front of the face, the eyes are actually somewhat translucent, yeah, which is a pretty cool effect. Yeah, kind of yellowish and a little bit translucent with orange pupils. Irises, yeah, orange irises and a black pupil. Uh, see the detail on the front of the head. Here is the thorax very yeah scaly um muscle muscle yeah uh articulation includes the uh arms they do not rotate but they just yeah kind of swivel back and forth like that you bend as far out um almost all the way back yeah like that same with the right arm out almost all the way back actually almost like going yeah curling up now there are yeah four clawed four clawed hands three claw no four yeah four toenails four claw toenails on feet on feet yeah very webbed almost webbed like almost a little bit like like a duck in terms of the yeah, yeah the webbing pretty stockly built yeah it's um, pretty balanced figure, but yeah, here's the uh, spikes looking at it, just like in the Godzilla 2000 version slide and Mega Gears. Yeah, very, yeah, longer, spikier, more protruding with the purp the azure, actually, like an azure purple tinge, yeah, at the back. I particularly always, yeah, I actually particularly like the Metagoji design of the Rinway area, Rinway era of the yeah, Godzilla films. Yeah, very design I just like yeah I apologize for the fi the figure is a little bit the toys a little bit dusty uh you, yeah a little dust in the back but yeah it's actually um yeah it's it's, it's you know it's from the band presto it's a brand presto version um but I actually was it was, I got this years ago it's actually at a Japan Expo yeah Los Angeles yeah they were selling this toy I managed to pick it up but it is a little bit not quite accurate to the Godzilla, the true yeah look of the Miragoji and Godzilla 2000, but close enough though you can kind of see yeah how the inaccuracies of how it looks. Because actually, in comparison, here is the Bandai Godzilla 2000 toy Miragoji design. Yeah. It goes smaller into a seven-inch scale. Yeah, it's very much more accurate. Yeah, it's pretty much like dead on how it looks. Um, this coloration on this one's a little bit, yeah, a little darker though, but still kind of, uh, it's still a, just a tinge of green, but yeah, very dark charcoal, uh, color. With the spikes, which are the good feature, yeah, the dorsal spikes are dead on, yeah. The tints on these ones are, um, yeah, dark, darker shade of purple, dark hue of purple. And very, uh marine yeah look like almost looks like a kind of like a uh we call it like a sea urchin anemone like yeah they're really very aquamarine looking it's pretty cool as you can see yeah and here is a comparison side by side comparison of the two yeah the tail on this damn presto figure is very yeah this brown chest toy is very long though uh it is a fixated though it cannot 
uh, go straight out, but it does have some articulation, I believe. You actually have to snap the tail on too, yeah, when you first get it. But uh, it's divided into lower section right here. It moves very slightly, even though it's kind of hard to move though. And so you can see section one, section two, yeah, a little bit longer, and section three leading to the um, spine of Godzilla. Yeah. So very uh, hardy toy though. Yeah, you can drop it, etc. It's not gonna break. It's almost like kind of feline in appearance in a way. Yeah, the way it looks. Yeah, it's not the. 2000 guns will look kind of like a cat like in a way but uh yeah so here's the two side by side comparison again you can compare the size with the of course the newest latest edition the new empire of godzilla giant version 11 inch here they are looking at each other uh it is yes it is taller it is actually an inch or so taller so it makes it this one's actually about 10 inches or so, so yeah. See the difference? Uh, we'll turn to the front to get so you can get a better look. Let's see like that. Contrasted also with Bandai's Shin Gojira. See there. Front view. Uh, the Toll Series 1954 Godzilla version. Very replicated from like the Bandai, uh, the way the toy, yeah, the Bandai series of toys looks, but it's actually not, yeah, it's in a Toho series. So, yeah, there they are. And also, here is the Godzilla Final Wars, yeah, 2004 version of Godzilla, produced by Bandai. Um, this is actually one of the, uh, the, when it first came out. But you can also get this now. Uh, it's also still available from the, the Bandai series. Looks like that. So they are. And also, uh, Giant Kong with Beast Glove uh, from Playmates Toys now available. So, yeah, here they are again. 54, Mito Goji, Brent Presto. Playmates, New Empire, Giant Godzilla, 11 inch, and Bandai's Shin Gojira, 11, over 11 inches. You can see all of them. Yep, here they are. So if you're interested in this one, um, probably available online, but yeah, a little bit harder to find now, but here it is.